All right, so reviewing for our test here. Names a location and has no size. And we're going to get these out of the bottom here. Okay, at the point, a picture would be like this, and the notation is just a capital letter. Note this, this and extends forever is a line. A picture would be a line with two points on it, but the notation is two letters with the little line on top. Two arrowheads for a line. Okay, part of a line that goes in one direction, okay, that's a ray. Okay, and a ray, an example, something like this. Okay, and remember, if it's going to the left, start with the end point, then the other point, the arrow always goes right. Okay, part of a line consisting of two endpoints, and everything in between is a line segment. And then, so you got two endpoints, and then for the notation, there's no arrowheads. Okay, now this one is an angle. Okay, when you have two rays with a common endpoint, so think about it. Here's a ray, here's a ray, common endpoint, right? Let's put three points on it. The way you notate it is angle G H I. Okay. Okay. Parallel. So we're gonna let's write this stuff out here. Parallel. Parallel is when two lines never intersect. Perpendicular when two lines intersect at 90 degrees. All right. And then Bisector A line or part of a line that cuts an angle in half. Line or part of a line. Line that cuts a segment in half. All right. All right. Next page. Collinear. more points on the same line. <clears throat> and then coplanar when three or Same plane. Cool. All right. So now the next one, you want to be able to measure this with a protractor. So I'll do it. Oh. Well, 
one second. All right, so I have a protractor on here. We're gonna we're going to measure BEH. Cool. Alright, cool. So BEH is over here. So I want to line up right where the E is. So BEH. Now I can tell looking at where EH is going, okay, it's going right around there. And BEH is a obtuse angle. So I'm not going to use the inside numbers, I'm going to use the outside numbers, which is between 140 and 150, right? So, what, what would help me on this is if I made this a little smaller. Let's see here. So I can see this, but... You can extend the line on yours if you can't see it. Alright, so... Again, it's between 140 and 150. And it looks like it's right about 143. Again, if you're a degree or more off, it's fine. Okay, but BEH is 143 degrees by measuring. Okay, so classifying that would be obtuse. Okay, now let's do similar with ADE. So I see A to D to E is up here. So let's rotate that. So ADE is obtuse, you can tell, it's bigger than 90, and it's between 120 and 130, right? We're not using the smaller numbers if it's obtuse. So it's about 127, okay? And again, if you're a little off, it's all right. Again, that's obtuse. Okay, the next one, IEG. Okay, IEG. So I see where IEG is, I'm going to... Center this on E. Okay. Now IEG is the supplement of BEH. No, nope. yep, from number 22. So again, oh no, don't do that. But again, it's between what? 140. Not 140 and 150, but since IEG is acute, it's between 30 and 40 down here, right? So it's a so looking between 30 and 40, starting at 30, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 57 degrees for that acute angle that I measured with my protractor. Okay. Now the next ones are not asking us to measure, so it doesn't say the word measure. So we are done with this thing so I can put it off to the side. Okay. Alright, 25. It's asking me what angle is supplementary to GHI. So what is right next to GHI that makes a hundred, uh, 180 degrees? So, sorry, HGI. So HGI is right here. What angle is right next to it that makes 180 degrees? Well, you have two options. You can either do DGH, angle DGH, or the other one next to it is IGE. Either one of those angles are right next to it and adds up to a straight line of 180 degrees. Okay. Now, the next one, what angle is complementary to DEG? So DEG is right here. What's right next to it to make a 90 degree angle? Well, that'd be GEI. Angle GEI is right next to it. Together they make a right angle. Because remember, complementary adds up to 90 degrees. Okay. So you're able to give me angles that add up to 180 and angles that add up to 90. 27 and 28. First, let's do the angle pair. What do I call these two angles that make a straight line? Linear pair. 
Number 28, what do I call these two angles that are across from each other and are congruent? Well, those are vertical angles, whether they're vertical on the page or not. Across from each other is vertical angles. Now, if on number 27, if these are a linear pair, one's obtuse, one's acute, they're not equal. But they do add up to something. So 3x minus 10 plus 2x adds up to equal a line. Straight line is how many degrees? 180. So 180. Combine like terms is 5x. Bring down minus 10 equals 180. Get rid of the loner. 90, divide by 5, and then x is going to equal 38, I believe. Yeah. Down here on 28, though, if they're equal, then you need to set them equal. If they're congruent, sorry. So, 4x plus 10, equal sign, 7x minus 5, get rid of the smaller x. 3x is what we get. Get rid of the loner. And then divide by the coefficient. x is equal to 5. Cool. All right. Now, these, you're just telling me what the construction is. You don't have to do any constructing. You're just telling me, is it copying or bisecting a segment?
All right, on these next ones, you got to know that you're not looking for the midpoint. You have a midpoint M. So you have an end point here. You got the midpoint here. And then your other end point is X, comma, Y. So if you remember how we did this, we do X plus X, end point plus end point divided by 2 equals the midpoint. Same thing for the Y's. So we do end point plus the end point. Three plus y over two equals the midpoint y, which is zero. So again, you got to solve these times two. Wow. Times two cancels those out. Times two. So we have negative two plus x equals one times two is two. Add two. Add two and x equals 4. Same thing here. Times 2 cancels it out. Times 2. 3 plus y equals 0. Minus 3. Minus 3. y is equal to negative 3. So we get 4 comma negative 3 for the missing end point. Okay. So again, we're on number 37. We're given an end point. We're given a midpoint. And then the other end point we don't know is going to be x comma y. So let's do the x's. 2 plus x divided by 2 equals the midpoint x, which is 6. So times 2 cancels that out. Times 2. 2 plus x equals 12. Minus 2 gives me 10. Same thing with the y's. Negative 9 plus y divided by 2 equals the midpoint y, negative 4. Times 2 cancels that out. Times 2. So negative 9 plus y equals sign negative 8. Add 9, add 9, y is equal to 1. My answer is going to be 10, comma, 1. And remember, there's always other ways to do this. To get from 2 up to 6 is adding 4. 6 plus 4 gives you 10. Negative 9 up to negative 4 is adding 5. Negative 4 plus 5 is 1. Okay, you can always do the differences method too. All right, 38, 39. So now we're finding length. Now, notice all these. Length and number 39. Distance. Okay. That's going to use distance formula. Okay. So D equals, and this is on your notes, and I'll give it to you on your test. X2 minus X1 squared plus Y2 minus Y1 squared. Cool. So let's do this. Distance equals x2 minus x1, 5 minus negative 3 squared, plus 4 minus 4 squared. All I got to do is tap that in. I get 8. That's it. Showed my word. Typed it in. Let's do this one. Distance equals x2 minus x1, 1 minus negative 4 squared plus negative 2 minus negative 5 squared. I'm going to take that and plug it into my calculator.
Well, minus negative 4 squared, negative 2 minus negative 5 squared, 5.83. Okay, last but not least on here, 40 is not just like 38 and 39. 40 is from an endpoint to a midpoint. From end to middle is only half of a segment, half of GF. And what do they want? The measure of the length of the whole thing. So you can do distance formula, that's fine, but you're going to do distance of this and this. Make sure you do it times 2. Okay? So let's not mess this one up. So uh, x2 minus x1, so negative 3 minus 4 squared plus 1 minus 2 squared. To take that to the calculator. Negative 3 minus 4 parentheses squared plus parentheses. 1 minus 2 parentheses squared. Minus please. And then hit enter. 7.07. .07. Now that's cool and all. That's the distance between these two points, which is only half. So, Again, if you put that, that's not the right answer, okay? I'm going to take that 7.07, .07 and I'm going to multiply it by 2. And that'll give me the whole thing. I only found half so far, so times 2. 14.14. That's the answer, not 7.07. .07. Okay? You don't have to cross it out. Cool. Make sure you study this and bring your review tomorrow. Okay.